How's it going everyone? Fem52 back again, and in today's episode, we're going to be going through the fiend tales of every fiend in chapter 2. Let's go. Alright everyone, welcome back. The last time we did something like this, we went through all of the fiends in chapter 1. That video took about 3 hours uh, to make it through. This one should be substantially shorter because there is a lot less fiends here in chapter 2. Uh, for instance, the first area that we're going to be going to is not actually Besaid, but is the uh, Meehan High Road. Uh, and starting off with Meehan High Road, we have uh, this guy right here, the Peregrin. The Peregrin, however you want to pronounce that. And uh, stop staring into my soul. I don't need anyone poking around to try to figure me out. There's nothing I have to say to you. Why why won't you just leave me alone? I want to sit here un unnoticed until I get sent off. I always kept myself in a tiny room in the temple staring outside from my window. I had no friends, no family to look out for me. If I were to suddenly vanish one day, would anything be different? Since I was supposedly orphaned after an attack by sin, I was raised by the temple in Kilika. Then tell me, or they tell me my parents were killed by sin, but I know that's a lie. Why won't I be, wait, why would I be the only one to survive? Why would they leave me all alone? The monks told me that many other children were orphaned by sin. They told me I had to be strong to provide hope to the future of Spira. But I didn't want to go on living in such a sad world. So I decided to take a gamble. One night I fled the temple. I knew how dangerous the woods were at night and that I should steer clear, but I went anyway. I knew that no matter what happened I had to be able to face my problems alone. If I couldn't get through the forest then there was no reason to go on. That was how I felt back then. I laid my life on the line, but then I encountered a fiend. I froze. I don't want to die, I screamed. It was the first time in my life that I truly wanted to live. Alright, so that little bird has uh, flown the coop on us. Uh, our next fiend tail is actually going to be the Chocobo Eater, if I can find him. Should be somewhere around here. There he is. Oh, and by the way, the bird is going to be a small bird type creature, uh, whereas Chocobo Eater here is going to be a large. I'm looking for a friend, a friend who traveled around the world with. Uh, when I got lost in the desert or almost fell off of Gagazette, he was there to help. There were some dangerous times, but I think he had fun, or I think we had fun for the most part. Uh, but one day he just vanished, and despite the countless times that he saved me, I wasn't able to save him. One night we had set up camp in Makalania. Usually I slept like a log, but for some reason that night I had trouble. After a while, I heard my friend snoring, and finally, I started to doze off as well. I had a nightmare. It was like I was running through the darkness of eternity. Uh, that was my last memory as a human. When I woke, my friend was gone, and I had become a fiend. 
Oh, you think he saw me turn into a fiend and run away? That's what I thought too at first, but my friend wasn't like that. If he saw that I had become a fiend, he tried to find a way to help me somehow. One more thing, I could hear his voice. He He's asking for my help in the darkness. I think that was all of those, right? Yes, it was. Ever since that night, my friend has been pleading for help in my dreams. Lately, I think his voice is getting louder. He's close. I just know it. Hold on, pal. This time, I'll be the one to save you. How that guy's friend was not dissolved by stomach acid, I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, our next fiend is going to be the Drowsy Ocho, uh, which is going to be a large fiend from the Mushroom Rock. Z, 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 Z. Shinra analysis. Drowsy Ocho is his name? A docile creature posing no danger to humans. Uh, Z, 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 Z. General analysis. Let me try analyzing his dreams. Drowsy Ocho is surrounded by butterflies. He's sleeping without a care in the world. Zzzzzz. General analysis. Let me try analyzing the yearly life cycle. Uh, spring hibernation in f in a flower bed. Summer hibernation by the sea. A uh, long autumn night hibernation and snowy winter hibernation. It's sleeping for almost the entire year. Zzzzzzz. Shinra analysis, Drowsy Ocho is still doing what he does best. Uh, he's dreaming of an afternoon nap in the calm lands. I'm sorry to think we shouldn't keep him here like this.
All right, so that uh, sleepy tail was interesting, I guess. Anyway, our next fiend or creature that is going to be in Mushroom Rock is going to be Elma here. She does not All have right, a fiend tail. It's Elma time. But in order to capture her, All you need right, to allay a uh, SP pod set for humans in the Mushroom Rock. Next up is going to be Flam Blanco from uh, the Moon Flow. And uh, this fiend also does not have a fiend tail. Where are you? Yeah, I'm on. There we go, Flam Blanco. Uh, does not have a fiend tail, but upon releasing it, you do unlock Shiva. Alright, so next up, after Flam Blanco, we're going to be heading to Guado Salon. Uh, and the first fiend here is going to be the Viper Sniper. Here we go. People call me Knife. Grew up in a street, uh, grew up in a street, street game in Luca. My family is killed by sin when I was a little kid. I was so desperate just to survive every day. I got my hands on a small blade that used to belong to my father, and that became my main survival tool. Ha, after I got my knife, I wasn't scared of anything anymore. Even big guys, they saw the knife and started shaking. I thought I had grown strong somehow. What, what a joke, so now I'm dead, but life as a fiend makes me feel more alive than ever. When I was a human kid, I felt a little guilty when I hurt other people. Now I feel nothing. I remember how I died. I was killed by a kid not unlike myself. He had a knife too. He killed me to take my name. Now in Luca, everyone calls him Knife. Alright, so before anyone gets all upset thinking that they just watched uh, Child Murder, uh, all uh, Viper Sniper did was scare that kid straight, didn't actually kill him, he was shooting blanks the whole time. Anyway, next up is going to be the Battlesnake right here. Hey listen, I, I kept this secret from everyone, but I actually hate fighting. Isn't it all about ego in the end? Uh, we fight. Or we might be fiends, but we're still living creatures. Having to fight and kill each other is just so depressing. But still, my job is to defend my is to defeat my opponents. If I don't kill fiends, my human bosses get all hissy. So I have to shoot, you know? Although the whole time I'm thinking duck or run or don't get hit. Uh, just between you and me, alright? My bullets are all blanks. Even if they hit you, they won't kill you. But that's about the best I could do. Don't expect much more. Did you know some fiends are on the brink of extinction? Like corals, for example. Uh, but that's because people keep killing them for their fur. 
You know they fetch a high price, right? So anyway, I just can't sit here and do nothing. I think that everyone has a purpose in life. I used to think that I did all I could, but really I was always just depending on others. I've decided to dedicate myself to protecting fiends. That's one thing that only I can do. What do you think? Will you root for me? Of course we'll root for you, buddy. Alright, so it looks like that uh, battle snake uh, was able to deal with his uh, poaching problem and uh, protect some buddies along the way. Anyway, next up we have Mr. Goon. Uh, by the way, I don't remember if I said this for uh, the two vi uh, the two snakes, uh, the Viper Sniper and the Battle Snake, but they are small bandolier enemies. Uh, and here in Guadal Salam we have two more uh, small humanoid creatures if we are using the S-Pods. Uh, we have Mr. and Mrs. Goon. Let's go ahead and start with Mr. Goon. Thank goodness you saved me. I was a burglar that broke into Chateau Leblanc, but I messed up and got spotted. The room I ran into had a spare uniform, so I put it on to avoid detection. But ever since then, I haven't been able to find a chance to escape. This is... or This is the place... treat, And this place treats people like dirt. Yet, I've been working so hard for them that I've been moving up the ranks lately. I thought that I thought that at this rate, I'll never be able to get out. So that's why I let you catch me like this. What? I have to keep wearing this while I'm here? Fine, I'll put up with it for a while longer. Shooter analysis. There appears to be no lies in his profile. A former lone wolf burglar trying to get out of the LeBlanc Syndicate. Uh, doesn't function well in groups, but often gets lonely. Uh, goes by the nickname Blue. Alright, so let's go ahead and release him. Alright, next up is Mrs. Goon, or Miss Goon. I was abandoned after he left me. I was in quite a state. That's when Mistress LeBlanc found me. I worked hard so that I could forget about him, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't. 
I just want to see him one last time. I just want to say goodbye, that's all. Gender analysis. Profile is all legit. The identity of the man she always refers to is unknown. She's one of LeBlanc's favorites, serving as her masseuse? Sure, let's go with masseuse. Uh, her nickname is Nimble, Fingle, Nimble Fingered Orange. I have no idea what Ren just said there. I really need to go back and do a lot of these uh, once I have mastered Albed. Anyway, our next fiend is going to be in the Thunder Plains. It's going to be the Armet Fiend. This guy right here, who's going to be a small helm fiend. I'm actually quite happy that I became a fiend. Do you find that odd? When I was human, uh, life was just so difficult. Things are so much better for me now. I mean, right now, I have freedom. It feels good just to be alive. Until recently, I had no memory of my human life. I'm sure it's because I didn't want to remember. There's a cave where fiends such as I work together to build new lives for ourselves. But one day I suddenly remembered those terrible days of battles, the days when I was married. I was once a sailor. I had, or I once wooed, I was wooed by my husband and moved from Bicanel to Kilika. Wow, let's try that again, guys. I was once a sailor and was wooed by my... I was once a sailor and was wooed by my husband and moved from Besaid to Kilika. My husband was a good man, but he could never stand up to his mother. My mother-in-law considered me a rude, a rube, and she and my sister-in-law chided me in my husband's absence. Of course, I didn't just sit there and take it though. But those days of arguing would come to an end when Sin attacked Kilika. Even then, my mother-in-law and I were arguing, and we did so to the bitter end. But looking back, I'm glad I have those memories. It makes me grateful for what I have right now. Well then, I suppose I should be getting back to the others. Thank you. 
Well, it looks like somebody got their revenge. And anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the Thunder Plains. Yep, the Armet is the only uh, new fiend in the Thunder Plains for Chapter 2. And there is uh, no fiends for Makalania, so that means we're going straight to Beaconel. And the first new fiend in Beaconel is actually going to replace Tonberry on my team. And that is going to be the Machina Hunter. Battle Report 03, 7th unit obliterated. Number 1, number 2, number 4, number 8 destroyed. Number 3, number 5, number 6 captured by Albed. Repeat, 7th unit obliterated. Battle Report number 5, plan to attack Albed Camp, Northern De uh, Desert. Mission, retrieve data from captured 7th unit members. If data is irretrievable, erase. Shinra Analysis. Uh, battle for dominance between Albed and Machina Rebels. Battle report number 9. New program downloaded. At 70% after repairs, join 3rd unit comply. Uh, program download at 90% after repairs, join 3rd unit comply. Battle report number 17. Captured by unknown object and moved to unknown location. Unable to identify code name number 7. Content not included in programming. Shinra analysis. Looks like he's talking about getting caught by the trap pod. Yeah, 
So it looks like the uh, Machina Hunter's friends have been integrated into the Albed armor, uh, Armory? Uh, Army Corps. Sure, let's go with that. Anyway, the next feed is going to be a medium Machina here in Beacon Hill, and it is going to be the Guard Machina. I am a, ma I am a Machina child, born about the same time as you, Shinra. I want to learn more about human culture so I can understand human feelings. Do you think joining the Gold Wings has gotten me closer to humanity? Shinra, can you tell me about why the sky is blue and why humans feel the way they do? Today's sky is blue 128, red 25, green 16, or somewhere in that range. Uh, are those values considered to be a beautiful day? Do all people feel happy when they see a sky with these colored components. Shinra, prevailing wind patterns for the day are 16 coming from the south with a temperature of 22. The Sphere Network in Luka says it's a wonderful day. Is that a pleasant breeze for you? But outside Luka I saw a woman crying. The, whims, the wind swept away her tears. Why was she crying? Because of the wind? Uh, what does it mean to cry? The sky is blue, the wind is calming, but someone is crying. I know only about the world outside. Or I only know about the world outside. Uh, where can one find this inner world of humans? Uh, that is their souls. Hey Shinra, people have souls, but I don't. Will I never have a soul, even if I keep recording data about the human world? I just don't understand. If I don't figure it out soon, I'll overheat. Interesting little story right there. Uh, I never understood that a Machina could cry, but I mean, I guess to each their own. Next up, we're going to Bevel, and we're going to be capturing the Flan Armorillo here. And uh, it is going to be a small Flan type creature. And uh, its fiend tail is a little weird because it is interactive. 
Uh, there are a couple of different things that you can get as a reward for the end. Uh, something that I have noticed on PC, uh, I'm only able to uh, get the Poison Fang reward, but on console you should be able to uh, get the maximum reward, which is going to be an Electro Marble. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and go through its, its uh, Fiend Tail. Uh, my dream is to become Spira's best flan, and by best I mean, of course, the most delicious. People from all corners of the world will line up just to get so much as a taste. Becoming the world's greatest dessert is within my grasp. To be the most luscious flan, I first must go through ingredients check. Just a thin layer of egg yolk on top. I look nice and firm, but in reality, I'm still a little watered down. A soft scent of egg may enhance my appeal, but there's only one way to check my true flavor. I'm quivering, quivering with anticipation. Why? Well, I decided to stick a spoon in myself and see how I taste. Just the way I jiggle, this feels mighty good. I'm the ultimate in softness and elasticity. But the spoon does sting just a tad. Does this mean I'm edible? I'm tearing up. Tearing up with joy. That's it. My salty tears can be my special ingredient. Yet though I taste delicious, my scent is a bit off. It still hurts a bit when I poke myself with a spoon, but I've got to stay strong. Honestly, I feel pretty good, firm and moist on the outside with a pleasant aroma and a caramel flavor. My perfect harmony of vanilla and egg will show the world a hitherto unexpe unexpected taste and smell. Yet, if I realize my dream, I'll just get eaten, and I'll be, and it'll be certain curtains for me. Is this the fate that food is consigned to? Ending. Alright, so press the directional buttons as directed to make the best flan in Spira. The more you spin, the tastier the flan becomes. Be mindful of the ingredients added later on. Let's begin! And what I mean by I am kind of limited to the bad result is uh, the controller for my PC is a little bit uh, laggy on the inputs, at least when it comes to uh, Ten Two. So I'm putting in the uh, the uh, button combination, but it's not picking up everything right away. So because of that, I am uh, lagging just a little bit behind, uh, which is making it honestly impossible to finish that mini game correctly. Uh, but anyway, we got the bad flan completed. And we get a poison fang for that. And if you are able to do that mini game perfectly, you will get another little scene at the end of that one. Uh, but anyway, the next fiend in Bavel is going to be the skink which is going to be a small reptile creature. Where are the reptiles? There we go. So the skink right here. Uh, will you listen to my tragic tale of cruel fate? I was born to a noble family, but here I am now in this hideous form. What a terrible curse to bear. 
Only one thing could lift my curse, the pure kiss of a lovely maiden. Why do you look at me so? Do you think I can make up such a story? And so, my dear Yuna, it shames me to no end to ask you this, but would you do me the honor of... Yes, your luscious lips will uh, surely cure me. You refuse? Not on my life? Uh, I see that the High Summoner is quite a hard nut to crack. Riku, my lovely, a favor I will ask. I need you to help me return to my former self. Uh, you are the only one who can save me from this horrid nightmare. Uh, go jump in the lake, you say. Well, if not the lips, maybe a peck on the cheek? Uh, just a little kiss is all I ask. Pretty please. Come on, just as a formality. I thought that moment... That, I thought that momentum would carry. This is quite hard to ask, but I need your help with something. Oh, but there's no pleasure. I won't hold it against you. Or there's no pressure. I won't hold it against you if you refuse. It's just a small favor. Really. Uh, Lady Payne, are you listening? Um, the, the beat... Or you'll beat the curse out of me? Uh, no. I've never been good with violence. Hmm, not like you're my type anyway. Alright, so if uh, that means what I think it means, I believe that means that Shinra was able to kiss the skink right there. And if it was the kiss of a fair maiden that needed to, or that was needed to change him back into human, does that mean that Shinra is a female? Eh, let's not think too much about it. Anyway, our next fiend is going to be the small evil eye fiend known as the Vertigo. Uh, again, this is going to be in Bavel. When I was a human, I had a best friend. We spent hours at Luca's port just talking. One of these days, we'll travel the seas of Spira, we used to say. I vowed, or we vowed to each other that we would save up money to travel and meet up at the port ten years later. Fiend or not, I still remember that promise. I've slowly saved up Gil so we can make our dreams come true. I it's almost the promise of the day, but I'm starting to feel a bit anxious. I mean, look, I mean, I look like this now, and even worse, maybe my friend has forgotten such an old promise. The day is drawing near, I've saved up plenty of money now. I won't turn back now, time for me to go to Luca and see my friend again.
All right, and uh, completing that tale, we uh, do get a new uh, fiend team in the arena. I believe they are called the uh, the Stowaways. And next up in uh, Bevel is going to be the Kuklacon here, which is going to be a medium-sized uh, basilisk fiend. In my previous life, I was killed. That's right, sentenced to death by the Bevel Temple. Uh, one here I spent in that cursed cell as I climbed in the or as I climbed into the gallows I fervently wished to become a fiend there was there were 13 steps I trembled with each step that I took truthfully living as a fiend scared me more than death it was like a contract with evil there was but one reason I wanted to remain in this world I was innocent I became a fiend to clear my name my memories had faded after I became a fiend. Maybe it was the forced confessions or the transformation itself that made me forget. In any case, all I cared about was proving my innocence. I used my claws to carve this simple truth into my flesh. It was... I was executed for a crime I did not commit. The pain serves as a reminder for me to pursue the memories of this terrible injustice. I remember where the incident occurred, but what happened there? Fragments of my memory are slowly returning. At the scene, I witnessed a murder. A man was killed. Moon lilies have been placed there now. Uh, where they put were they put there to honor the memory of the deceased? Uh, these lavender flowers are the only clue I have. Whoever left these flowers holds the key to this crime. I decided to stake out the area. The moon li lilies have already withered. Day after day I waited. Sometimes I lo lost myself to my new fiend nature and forgot my purpose. I would tear at my flesh to remember. Day after day of obsessing. This place had been forgotten after I was uh, executed. No one approached. I found no clues. Uh, then the day came when you captured me. One year from the day of my execution, two years since the crime took place. Perhaps the person who left the flowers will return to that place again. I'm running out of time. Please, you must allow me to go back there.
so after that interesting tale, uh, honestly, I want to know who she killed and why she killed him, but apparently we're not going to figure that out. Uh, but after that, we have a couple of uh, Machina for us to, uh, to obtain. And first up is going to be the YAC-13, which is going to be a medium mech creature. Uh, you want to analyze me? Fine, but I'll analyze you right back. Analysis complete. Uh, name, brother. Sex, male. Personality, simple. Likes, Yuna. Weaknesses, Yuna. More analysis? Well then, who will I analyze next? Analysis complete. Name, Riku. Sex, female. Personality, simple. Likes, stuff. Weakness, boring stuff. You can't hide from me. You should know that by now. Analysis complete. Name, pain. Sex, female. Personality, complex. Likes, female. Or likes, friends. <laughs> Weaknesses, memories. Uh, you want to be analyzed, do you? Quite brash of you. Uh, to use me like that. Analysis complete. Uh, name, Yuna. Sex, female. Personality, changing. Likes, sweets. Weaknesses, own feelings. Interesting. So, uh, for some reason, we were, or the YAC-13 could not figure out uh, Shinra's gender. Interesting, interesting. Anyway, next up is going to be the YAU-28. Uh, this one is also going to be a medium uh, mech creature. I am called uh, Master Champion Mark One. Not too shabby of a name, if I do say so myself, and that's not just a name either. I, I'm i much stronger than a human, and I can perform any task that puts, that's put before me. I want to use my abilities now to help make the world a better place. I want to be of use to humans. Something's not right. I'm supposed to be a multi-purpose machina. Uh, my white magic should cure everything, and I should be able to fly around and all of that. I've got to believe, or you've got to believe me, I just need to train a bit more. I know I could do this. I, I thought I would be able to do anything by now. All I'm doing is barely fluttering above the ground. Maybe I'm not a multi-purpose machina after all? No, that can't be right. I'm trying my best to help people, so I'll get it all down one day, right? Multi-purpose, ha! Master Champion, ha! I have no special abilities after all. I can't seem to do anything. What is my purpose for existing if I can't help people? I gave it my all, but I'm of no use to anyone.
So that uh, Machna seems to uh, have found a purpose in life, and that purpose is helping humans. How, uh, how good for it. Anyway, our uh, final fiend in Bavel is going to be the YSLS-99, which again is going to be a medium mech-type creature. I am a lone warrior who has fought through many battles alone. Can you please stop this analysis nonsense? Uh, this experience of living as a fiend has been terrible. I've never been good at... I've never been good in groups. Such a bother. Uh, there are those who insist on speaking to me. I had heard the arena was a place where fiends tested their metal against each other. Uh, that was why I allowed myself to be captured. It wasn't so I could join some special group. Please just leave me alone. It's one of my single wishes. It was my one single wish. This was the worst day of my fiend life. I lost badly in a practice match. Uh, working in groups has thrown me off balance. My rhyme or my rhythm gets thrown off when I have to be with others morning, noon, and night. Fighting opponents, you know, is a lot is also not easy. But the nightmare actually continues even after that. After the defeat, I sat looking dejected, and one after another, the others came to console me and talk. This camaraderie is proving detrimental to battle instincts. I have but one request. Get me a room with a lockable door. As a lone warrior, I experienced some shame, but perhaps my time in the arena did temper my steel somewhat. The idea of leaving and never seeing my comrades again is rather comforting but there is another emotion within me something i've never felt before what could this be does your annoying analysis have anything to do with this feeling Alright, and after that, the uh, the YSLS-99 uh, does join the uh, the Fiend Arena. And uh, our next Fiend is actually going to be uh, in the Calm Lands. And that is going to be the Vespa. Uh, the Vespa is a small bee type creature. Um, I do recommend, however, using the uh, the special pod for this guy. 
uh, because it is very difficult to get him with just the small pod. Uh, anyway, hey, thanks for catching me. I've been so bored lately. You might not know by looking at me, but I used to be a master thief. I was real good at escaping. So I see something like this trap pod and I can't help but get excited. What? You're saying that even I can't escape out of this one? Hmm. Then I'll consider that a challenge. I'll make you eat those words. Hey, you think you could give me something to pass the time? I've got nothing to do all day. If I had a pen that I could keep a diary. Or, you know, spin it around or clean my ears with it. How about it? What? No? Ha! Huh. I guess you won't fall for an easy one like that. Uh, there was this guy. He was... A he was like a little brother to me, but he was a klutz and basically useless. So anyway, he messed up on a job and we both ended up getting tossed in jail. It wouldn't have been hard for me to break out, but the kid, he felt responsible for us getting caught. Uh, he used himself as a decoy so that I could escape and he died. Stupid kid, he didn't have to. Hey, sorry for getting all somber. If you could just lend me a pen, Al. No dice, huh? Cheapskate? Sob stories don't work on you either, I guess. You're a pretty sharp guy, I have to admit. It's been a while since I've had this much trouble. I like you, kid. You've got a lot of brass for someone so young. I mean, I've seen many things in my life, but nothing ever quite this refreshing. Yes, okay, I admit defeat. You won and I lost. Well done. Hey, you've won now, so would you mind actually lending me a pen? I, you know what? I, you know, what to write you a message. Verbally, it would be sort of embarrassing. Really? You'll lend me one? I guess flattery works then. Let's -a go. Alright, guys, and that is actually the last fiend for the Calm Lands. Our next fiend is going to be for uh, Mount Gagazet, and it is going to be the Rook, which is a large creature. Good grief. All the fiends to of all the fiends to become, I had to become a rook. I hate those damn birds. I doubt there's an albed alive that doesn't hate them. Sniff sniff. Gah, I smell like them. This is horrible. I want to be human again. I want to dig again. Those things would always interfere with our excavations. Yeah, even on that day, I ran into a big one. I tried to fight it off. But you see what happened. Rooks are the bane of our existence. Our existence. I guess I can't say that anymore. I ran into some old digging buddies in the desert today. The moment they saw me, they started shooting like crazy. If some fellow fiends hadn't been there to help me, I would have been a goner. Well, I guess I was asking for it looking like this. I just felt nostalgic, you know? I told you about the rook that saved me from the albed, right? Well, she died. She died protecting her chicks. Uh, what is this feeling I'm getting inside? I'm so confused. You know what? Just the other day, I wanted so badly to become human again, but now...
right, and that is everything for Mount Gagazette. Uh, that Rook right there had some life choices that it needed to make. And our final beast, or final fiend, for chapter 2 is going to be the Guardian Beast, which is going to be a large creature from uh, Xanarkin. I, at one time, went through rigorous training by Yevin to become a Guardian Beast. I fought many fiends and many humans, and I defeated them all. A thousand years ago, Yevin sought out many strong beasts, such as myself, to train as Guardians. To achieve victory on those training grounds, was to live another day. There was never a there was never a dearth of fireflies on those training grounds. We saw the dreams they brought day and night. Illusions became dreams and mixed with reality. In those dreams, I pose a query. If one could become a blade that would tear the world asunder, would I wish it? As a fiend, I have become a living blade through many dauntless foes that uh, stood before me. Human or fiend, they fell before me. In the illusory dream, I continued to fight. By the time I realized the emptiness, it was too late. This arena brings back my many bitter memories of battle. Allow me to be free. I lo no longer wish to fight for anyone. Alright guys, and that is going to be all of the fiends for chapter 2 in uh, the creature capture for Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Uh, in the next episode we go ahead and continue on with uh, chapter 2 and its actual properties. Uh, but until then guys, this is Famine52 signing out, and peace out.